had so much demand for more shade. It's brutally hot out here, you wouldn't know it. So Pratt goes to work to protect the seniors at the senior center across the street from the brutal summer sun. The New York City Department of Transportation, the DOT, approves the Pratt application as art under the DOT's temporary art program on the grounds that the structure must be removed in 11 months. What you're about to see are the opening ceremonies of Pratt on Putnam on October 30th, 2015. moment. We were so thrilled that the Putnam Triangle Plaza has this new structure that's standing behind me. I think we should call up our Pratt side team. We have Dr. Schutte of Pratt Institute here, at, uh, a, a neighbor of ours in Fort Greene, Clinton Hill, and we're thrilled to have this partnership with the students, and I'd like to invite Dr. Schutte up to say a few words. Thank you very, thank you very much. So I'm so happy to be here. I'm president of Pratt, and it's wonderful for me to get out and to see what it is that our, our students are doing. And also, it's fabulous to see what's happening in this community. And one of the things that is happening here, which is so wonderful, is to see how our students are participating, the political party, etc. So again, thank you everybody. We're very proud of the project and we can't wait to keep visiting it. So long. I'm going to ask Danica Salem and Matt Boker of Prattside to take you through a few comments. Well, hi everyone. Uh, first, thank you for coming. Uh, um, Pratt Side is um, a group of volunteers and students from Pratt Institute. We decided to try to make something of a new landmark and uh, like a year and a half after that all started, we are here now. And Matt is going to tell you more about the project itself. Hi guys, yeah, we're really excited to be here. Uh, behind me, you can see the structure sitting here. Uh, it's a reflection of design constraints. Materials basically use the planters in the existing situation and then adding more planters, some seating, and then a canopy up above that's lightweight uh, and light uh, in material for snow loads, wind loads, and that kind, of, that kind of response. So we want to thank a few people who made this all happen. Um, I've got my notes here. I think just Pratt Institute and IOBY. And we want to say thank you to Clean Right Center for the whole process. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Kellogg, to Pratt, to Fab Alliance, to 
Matthew, Daniel, Do you know what he's talking about? No. And as a result, it benefits us all as a community. So I know we're going to talk about it for six. But this is truly a tremendous truth for all of us. Thank you so much. Plaza program. And so I'd like to ask David Green of the New York City Department of Transportation Plaza program to just come up and say a few words. Thank you. Um, uh, I think I'll just share some of the sentiment which has already been, or echo some of the sentiment rather which has already been shared. Uh, um, perfect example of, uh, of, uh, of this type of collaboration. And the DOT would be delighted to assist in any way we could. So uh, I would just like to extend my congratulations to the Pantsway team and to the band for uh, uh, coordinating and uh, keeping some work behind us. And I really look forward and we really look forward to uh, to watching it grow and become a landmark. So uh, congratulations to all that were involved and uh, thank you all for, uh, for your support for this space. This design specifically. Yeah. They got their own design. Big panty. Let the rain come through too. Yeah, they're bigger than these umbrellas we got here. Look at the bra. But what's the purpose of it? Hey, I guess the brought these on the So grab about the sound. Hang on, <laughs> and look at the crows on top. I know. They're the crows, they hanging out. They're going to shit on you. Hey, man. They're going to probably build a nest up in there, man. The crows ain't no fucking good. No, hell no, they ain't no joke, man. Yeah, you can hang out on the there if you want. Get a lot of bird shit on you. No should get cross. My god, are these undies or elaborate dental floss? G strings, T strings, she must have a hundy. Go to hang up my clothes, there's no room on the line. In the car for a week They're covered in mold now They're starting to reek
We're dealing with machinery here that in some cases goes back to 1900. It involves a lot of problem solving. We are the maintenance shop for HVAC and heating. We're responsible for the pumps that circulate hot water in the buildings, the condensate pumps that take the steam that we send out and bring it back to us. When I came here, one or two strays would show up and I would feed them outside the back door. One day the stray would come inside and live inside and it would be fed inside. The cats just gradually began to show up. I was living in the Emerson house until it was converted to a dorm three years ago, at which point the Institute moved me into this house. In 1967, when Phyllis and I got married, we moved to a house on the Pratt campus. We were, in a sense, a matching couple. We had a great time. I lost her four years ago now. I'm 78. I'm still healthy. I'm still able to come in to work. Let the hey Michael, do the spin cycle, Mariah, do the tumble dryer, Greg, do the clothes peg, officer, do the fabric softener, guy, do the drip dry, happy man from Afghanistan, do the nappy sand. <laughs> I just noticed it. I just noticed that that thing that was up there, a rope, like little ropes, like, you know, they didn't do nothing. They're going to put something up there to really block the sun. That would be nice. They ain't blocking the sun. They put it up and they take it down. That's it. Yeah. They put it up and they take it down. I guess they took it down because of the weight. It didn't look good anyway, In their public agreement with the DOT, Pratt promised to remove their shade device the month of September 2016. It hasn't been removed.